Hey guys, it's Leslie with The Social Lunch. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can easily create an online course using Thinkific. Now, just a note, if you do click on the link in the description, it is an affiliate link, so I get a little bit of a kickback when you click on it. I've been using Thinkific for my courses, so I have a free course, which is about getting organized on social media, and then I have a paid course, which is about optimizing your social media. So Thinkific has been really, really easy to set up. It's fairly affordable, which is the other reason that I like it. Plus, it's so much easier because you can collect everything for your course in one spot. So you can have videos, you can have PDFs, you can have downloads, quizzes, surveys, all housed within this platform. So it makes it really simple. Now, while I love offering free content with video tutorials and on my podcast and my blog, it is a lot easier for someone who really wants to learn something a little bit quicker than having to look through all of my content. They can go to my course and they can see everything neatly organized. It saves them time, so it's good for them and it's good for me. I'm gonna show you in this quick tutorial how to use this course platform. And again, it's super easy. I just go through some of the basics. If you want more, let me know and I'll create another video, but here it is. Okay, so I'm gonna show you today how to create your own online course, which is made super simple if you use this course platform creation called Thinkific. Now, if you click on the link that I have in the description, it's gonna bring you to a page where you can get started for free. So all you have to do is click get started for free, put your email in here, click get started for free. Now, this is the back end area of creating a course. So all you want to do is click on create course right here. Now you can choose from a bunch of different options. So whether you just wanna start from scratch, you wanna create like a mini course, a flagship course would be like a really full uh, course. You could also pre-sell with a landing page. See if you get any interest and then build your course. So all I'm gonna do today is just create this, use this blank course. So you call it whatever you want and click create. Now you can always change this title later, so don't worry if you want to edit that. It's super simple to change titles, to change content, add content, that kind of thing. So you're going to see here that Thinkific actually walks you through everything. So there's lots of learning that you can do within the course. Um, so right over here, you wanna add a chapter. So things like adding a introduction, um, a welcome, what are we going to learn, that kind of thing. So you wanna add a new chapter and then that's when you start adding your content. So if you click add content here, you'll notice you have tons of options. So you can create or upload videos, quizzes, you can do different multimedia text, you can do surveys, which I think is really cool, PDF documents, audio, downloads, presentations, you can do exams, tons of different options, very, very cool. So let's just say we want to add a bit of text. So you want to do maybe a description of what we're learning. And then you just type everything, kind of just like a Word document, and you add your info here. You can add links and that kind of thing. Once you have everything uploaded, save changes, and you're gonna see over here that under your first chapter, you have that text option. Now, if you wanted to then add a video, you just simply click on video and then scroll down here and upload your video. So once you've selected your video, just add a title. And there's a lot of different options once you're going through your course is you can make this part of a free trial, make the video auto play. Um, you can make your content able to be downloadable, which is cool. So you just start uploading all of your content that you've created and save your changes. 
So once you've uploaded all of the content in your first chapter, you might want to add a second chapter depending on what your course is about. So maybe for myself, if I was teaching something about different social media platforms or optimizing that kind of thing, maybe this is Facebook basics or whatever. And then again, you just start adding your content here. So whether you're adding your text, your video content, audio content, whatever you want to add, you just start adding that content to your different chapters. Okay, so that's how to actually add all of the content to your course. Now, um, there's a completion page. So once your students are finished going through your course, there's a default completion page or you could do like a custom completion page. So you can also edit that. You can bulk upload any documents to your course. The landing page, so this is where you um, would direct your students. So um, it's already created for you, which is super useful. You'll see here that it automatically brings in your title and things like that. But what you could do is start changing out the theme. So if you wanted maybe a video to be shown on your landing page or whatever, you can change your themes here. They have all these preset themes that you can choose from, which is really easy and just saves you a lot of time from having to try to design your own landing page. So you'll see here that this has now been edited to this different um, um, layout. So then once you hover over this, you can just click to edit the banner or the titles, the price, that kind of thing. And you can totally customize your landing page just with a few clicks. So this is, again, the page that you're directing people to. So at any time that you're designing your course and you want to preview what it looks like, see how here you can preview your landing page and you can preview as a student. So instead of seeing it from you being the owner, you can actually preview it as a student, how they're gonna see it. So we're just previewing the landing page. And then you can also preview this as a student. And it's gonna give you a little preview of what your course looks like, which is a good option. You wanna check in every once in a while to make sure that everything that you're uploading looks great and makes sense for your course. So once you've uploaded your um, videos and your audio and text and everything, your curriculum is pretty much done. You want to set up your landing page and make sure that looks great. You want to also configure your pricing. So depending on if it's a free course, one payment subscription, payment plan, that kind of thing. So you'll see that I don't have the option to have a payment plan, I'd have to upgrade my account but you have these other great options that you can offer to your students, which is great, I think. Now here in the settings, you wanna make sure that you configure this before you publish and start sharing it. Make sure again that the course name is what you want it to be. Um, obviously you will probably be the instructor, but you can change your URL. You can also buy your own domain. So I bought social media success course.com and then you can direct people to here so depending on what your you want your domain to be but you can tell people how long it's going to take to complete the course and that will show up um, so this is all located in the settings area your course card you can upload an image here that kind of gives a little bit of information about your course and then add a little description of what your course is about. So the SEO here under settings is you'd wanna make sure that you have your title set and that you have a description and then add any keywords that kind of describe what your course is about. Once you're finished 
with your course content, your landing page looks good, you went through all your settings and everything's set up the way you want it to, all you have to do is hit publish and your course will be live. Now, if you go here and you click on your account, you'll see here that it gives you all your account settings and then you can do have all access to all your different options. So designing your site, you can manage all your learning content. So you can see all of your courses here. Here's all like your sales widgets, any integrations, things like that. And then this, the support your students, if you've set it up that people can ask questions, this is where you will see that. And you can also view your quizzes and surveys and view any reviews that you get. So that's a pretty basic um, overview of all the options that you have in Thinkific. It is a very, very simple uh, platform to use that's just kind of the rundown of how to set up your first course there are a few other options you can see here that you can add your branding and custom links and things like that but it is easy to get set up and thinkific also has great um, support so that if you do need any help they have different training programs available for you so that is how you would set up your first course Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you're liking these videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Click the little bell to get notified every time I upload a new video.